Hi everyone, realise it's been a little while since I've actually done a video, so I thought I'd just um, probably do a couple of videos today showing the um, things I've been working on recently. I've actually managed to get quite a lot of painting done, but just no filming, so I might split this down into a couple of videos because there's uh, quite a bit to go through. So um, the first set of um, figures that I finished off recently are the uh, Urukai Crossbowmen, and I've got ten of these. There's a mix of uh, fine cast and plastic. Uh, not, sorry, not plastic, metal. Um, they're the Games Workshop, Lord of the Rings range, Urukai. They're, um, they're very, very simple to paint up, to be honest. They're, it's mainly flesh, armour, and wood of some description. So very, very simple to do. A little white hand there on a few of them. Um, in the game, they're great because they've got um, a strength 4 crossbow which um, for shooting is actually is stronger than most sort of like regular troops attacks so say a regular uh, a regular Rohan warrior or something like that is only strength 3 so if you're shooting and you've got strength 4 you're going to be punching through some things quite nicely but I've done 10 of these these are um, Dan's ones that I'm painting up for him um, I did notice, I mean a lot of people complain about fine cast and the majority of it was alright but there was one guy where there seems to have been perhaps a bubble which is formed in the uh, here we go so the bubble a bubble must have formed in the mold so if you look there the crossbow the end of it it's missing which you can't tell from a distance but it's still a bit frustrated so i've done those um i've also worked on a few of my own things so i'll pause that and pause here and bring them over so next up we've got a batch of Urukai Warriors that I've done here and now these are these are from my own collection I've been getting these off eBay and off all sorts of places just to build up some uh, Isengard spam really more than anything so I've painted these in two separate batches so this is the first batch I did I've, I've added white hands to these and white some white marks and bits and pieces which look quite nice. I do like it. I think I may have gone over the top. Like this one, for example. Looks like someone's been playing patter cake on his shield, but I did the armor in two slightly different ways. So if I grab both of them and put them side to side, I don't know if you can tell much difference, but on the right, it's much, it's quite a bit, quite dull, which was the look I was going for, really. I wanted something like that. These ones I'd sprayed with the um, Army Painter um, plate mail. As you can see, the base is all silvered as well. And so I sprayed them, and then I gave them a wash of Nuln Oil, and then um, over it with a slightly watered down, um, trust the old Army Painter Strong Tone, just to give it that sort of, kind of a slightly darker look, brown look that the Urukai have. Um, then, no, oh, did I do that? Oh crap, I can't remember. It's going to be interesting when I come to do the rest. No, I think I sprayed. Yeah, I sprayed them. I did them non oil. I dry brushed them back over with chain mail. And then after that, I went over with a washer of strong tone. But then just filled out the bits and pieces. I tried to go for something a little bit different on these. I've given them sort of like a red, red rags on the back and I hadn't noticed actually that the uh, I've done the straps a different colour as well just a little bit of variation I suppose more than anything um, so I've got those there I've got have got I'll just swing this around a bit quite a few more to do but then that's done for the Urukai Warriors I don't know whether I'll worry about getting any more I'm on the lookout for um, crossbows for myself because as I said the crossbows that I've got are Dan's and I kind of fancy getting a group of crossbows together to try to take people out but um, I'll finish this video here because this is the Isengard Warriors that I've done um, as you've seen you've seen previously the um, the berserkers that I did now I'm just spraying some of those today 
get some more berserkers done. I'm hoping I should be able to have a decent force which has crossbows, berserkers, and then some warriors in there as well. Um, I've also got a uh, special character who I'm going to be working on, but I'll leave that to talk about for the next video because that's I'm going to focus more on the heroes in that. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.